I'm sort of loud and everything like this. This, this guy's a quiet achiever. To, to me, Greg is the real digital nomad. I'm not a digital nomad at all. I like going once a year to somewhere and then coming back. But Greg's always traveling. And to me, he really symbolizes, because he's earning money, and then he uses that to travel, and he uses that to educate himself, he uses that to get better equipment, he uses that to give back to the community, he uses that to um, really raise the game. And I would suggest getting on his newsletter. I get his newsletter, it's always interesting. Uh, the last one was where he lost his drone. That was, that was, <laughs> that uh. one. <laughs> oh, no, it was a tragedy, <laughs> losing the drone. But in fact, that's what interests me right from the start, because the first presentation that Greg gave at the Nomad Coffee Club in the, old, in, the, in the city there was about aerial photography. I thought, what a cool way to earn money. And I thought, yeah, I'm in. And, and he was the first one ever to use a drone and he, he sold his 4K, um, very high resolution um, uh, drone footage. Yeah. And he even got into some spaces that he wasn't even supposed to film. And he learned about that later, you know. <laughs> but he's got a great story and I really um, know you're going to enjoy him and would you please give him a big, big round of applause. Originally from South Africa and Canada and with us today in Chiang Mai. Greg Hunt, come on. Thanks for that awesome intro, Peter, and uh, thanks Matthew and Shane for the opportunity to, to share some knowledge with you about building a business as a videographer. So. Uh, yeah, just what are you going to get today? Hopefully, I can inspire you, uh, give you some tips if you're creating content, whether it's audio or video. I uh, also want to cover the business side because you know sometimes people, um, you know, they can do good video, um, but they don't focus a lot on the marketing and and some of the good stuff that you you get exposed to in Chiang Mai. And I'm also going to cover some of the tools, the gear, the platforms that I use. And uh, I've been doing this, I left my job in 2011, um, 2019, so it's been a while. So <laughs> yeah, so just, just some highlights. I, I'm from Vancouver, Canada. I uh, had a 13 year career there and then, you know, I, I reached a period where you know, I just I wasn't happy. I was earning good money. I had uh, I had a car, a place um, over there. That that photo is actually my downtown apartment in Vancouver. I sold that in 2011. I decided to do my masters after you know reading books like Rich Dad Poor Dad, um, uh, you know some self discovery books. And after I finished my masters, I did a business plan about a travel luxury tour company in Vancouver. And to fund it, I sold that apartment for about $400,000 Canadian in 2011. Probably worth about double now. <laughs> so in hindsight, I probably should have just kept it. But I mean, back then, I mean, things like Airbnb, uh, Grab, Uber, like, you know, just, just the apps and the technology we have today, it wasn't quite there. So, I mean, you know, I didn't have that hindsight. And then I took a trip to Taiwan in 2011. I had a good Taiwanese friend and uh, said, hey, Greg, um, I want you to be one of my best men for Taipei. And uh, I'd never been, you know, to Asia as an, as an adult. And I said, okay, I'm in, right? I mean. Uh, my best buddy Alan, he's, he's just one of those friends that's, you know, just a lot of fun and um, yeah, it was a great time, really eye-opener for me coming to Taiwan, seeing Hong Kong, Shanghai. And back then, I had a Canon SLR 7D, used that from, uh, you know, that first round of funding from my apartment. And I didn't even have a microphone. Uh, or a shotgun, and I, I filmed the travel travel log series. So, you know, it's just I look back at that, and I'm, I'm thinking, man, all that video and the sound was crap. You know, a month month of filming. So, I mean, one tip to raise the production value of your video is improve the audio. So you can do that with shotgun microphone. You can use a lav mic like I'm wearing now. Um, but yeah, I mean, good video, especially if you're doing vlogs or courses. It's not just about videos, it's about lighting, it's about audio and the video. 
And then, um, yeah, after 2011, I was, I was fiddling on with YouTube. It was the early days. There was no, um, a lot of role models or people to follow. So I was just posting videos on YouTube, you know. It was just like going in a black hole. I had, you know, I'll, I'll talk, talk about Rob here, he introduced me to online teaching later on. Um, but yeah, I just, I was lost and I was just posting videos and um, eventually I ran out of money. I had to go back to corporate in 2013 for a year as a business team lead and I hated it. Like, you know, going to those meetings and people bickering about, you know, just you know, corporate stuff and, you know, HR and I, I, was, I was the one taking the minutes, solving all the problems and I hated it. So I, I, I always wanted to go to Australia um, but it was just, yeah, doors were just closed at the time. So I ended up doing a working holiday in Taiwan, which is, if you're 35 or under, it's a great way to basically just stay in a country. And it's sort of one of those gray areas where local businesses don't know what it is. They don't recognize it, but it gives you permission to stay uh, in a country and do pretty much whatever you want for one year. So. You know, Visa Run wasn't even in my, you know, I didn't even know what a Visa Run was or Digital Nomad at that time. Uh, so, I mean, I sold everything, my cars, house, and I packed up everything in a couple suitcases, my camera, laptop, and I ended up in Taiwan in 2013 to study Chinese and, you know, dreams of starting something, making some money with my camera and my skills. And by this time, you know, I, I'd taken workshops on video, I'd studied it, and so I had the skills. I just didn't have any, like, I didn't know what to do, right? I had a website, uh, but I needed to make some money. So eventually, um, I started teaching English in Taipei to kids, kids that are age five to, five to 12. And, um, you know, it pays the bills, but, you know, kids throwing stuff at you, you know, after all that I've been through and I, I was wondering, what the hell was I doing? What am I doing, right? Um, yeah, a lot of drinking, working Friday nights, waking up Saturday morning and I hated it. So I started listening to podcasts and I came across this uh, Israeli podcast and he was actually interviewing Rob Coven over here, who is talking about teaching online on a platform called Udemy. So I was taking the subway home, you know, listening to this. I was, I was looking for a way out. I, went, I, needed, I needed my freedom. And, you know, every hour that I had at that time, I had very limited time because it was, you know, you're teaching part-time in, in, um, in these cram schools, but you're spending all your time grading homework, preparing for the class. So you don't have a lot of time. So I started filming these courses because I thought, you know, I already have a camera and how to do video. And Udemy during those days, this is 2014, I searched GoPro, nothing. So I had a GoPro, I had a drone, I had an SLR camera. So I got to work, I started filming these courses and um, yeah, started launching them. And I, I was creating a lot of YouTube videos and um, yeah, I think I'm, all over the place right now but um, yeah I'll get I'll get into those things soon but basically um, it was around 2014 I met a Canadian programmer and he, he introduced me to digital nomad culture so I started searching digital nomad and I came up with this site called nomads list right I'm sure all of you have seen it and back then Chiang Mai was number one I saw these lanterns and cost of living and I started listening to Johnny FD. He's the founder of the Nomad Coffee Club. I started listening to his podcast. And one day I heard he's coming to Taiwan. So I reached out to him and uh, we ended up doing uh, an interview, which you can find online still at the co work space in Taipei. It's called the, the Maker Bar. So, yeah, I mean, I, Johnny sold me on Chiang Mai, like, you know, um, a lot of us here. I mean, it's uh, so I came to Thailand for a visit and, you know, to cut a long story short, I relocated here 2015. That's when the Nomad Coffee Club was at uh, Soy 5 Healthy Bee. Uh, yeah, it was like going to college again, like, 
you know, there's a lot of people coming in during that time, just looking to start something and a lot of energy. And we were staying at the PT residence, this apartment, and my friends were down the hall, Dylan, and we're just sharing ideas, SEO. I was learning a lot, right? You know, and um, one thing I'll share with you is like, don't do this alone. I mean, Chiang Mai is a great place to uh, to meet like-minded people and I've traveled and lived in a lot of places as a digital nomad from Vietnam to Malaysia, Vancouver and, and South Africa. They're, this is the best place with the, the community. So um, yeah, make the most of it.